Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and welcome to, oh goodness, I've changed the name of my Tuesday um, YouTube series. It used to be Stories and Stamps, and now it's Sweet, Sweet Tuesdays. And the crazy thing is, is it hasn't been a sweet yet, but they are Sweet Tuesdays. Um, I had my days mixed up, so I thought that um, Tuesday was the last day of July, but it's actually the first day of August. And then I was looking to see what suite I wanted to feature, and every single one that I wanted to feature is on back order right now. So there's no sense in featuring a suite that you can't purchase. So I remember that I had promised you that I was going to show you one last trick with the embossing paste. So that's what we're going to do today. My name is Jackie van der Sar Boot, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and in the Netherlands, which means I can also sell to the European market. It's quite exciting. Anyway, I hope that um, you choose me as your demonstrator. Let's take a look. I'm going to be using the Good Feelings um, stamp set because we're going to use this Sending Sunshine and Good Feelings Your Way as a background stamp. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But first, I'm going to take a scrap of basic white. I have this. Um, those are called stencils. They're also called masks. And the thing is, we get new ones every year and then I never use them as much as I think and so I I thought you know what this one you can't get anymore but I still want to show you a technique so we're first going to use the um, blending brush and I've just got some some masking paper here that I've used and I want to just make sure that 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 flower doesn't end up in my there so I'm going to put that that way and I have a few more I have another one here it's going to go the other way, like so. Let's see. Yeah. I'm going to make it go like this. And then I'm going to put another one, kind of. Let's see. That's good. And then this one's going to kind of go around the bottom here. And hopefully that will do it. Oh, it's too high. I just kind of am hedging my bets a little bit and hoping. I mean, I'm going to cut it out anyway, so it doesn't matter too much but that's what I do with my masking paper. So I'm going to use Pretty Peacock and a blending brush. So here we go. And I want to hold this firmly there and start off a little bit and then we'll go in. And hopefully I'll even out those little blurbs. I should have put some, um, some grid paper underneath as well but I didn't do that. So it is a little blotchier than I would like, but we'll see if we can. It's amazing what patience will do when you're using your blending brushes. You can just keep going. You don't have to press too hard. It's better to have a light even touch than to press too hard. And I think that was what my mistake was. But you know what? It'll be interesting to see what kind of results I get with a kind of flawed beginning. Okay, so here it is. It doesn't look that bad at all, my butterfly. So now I've got myself a little pot. I have just a little bit of embossing paste left. Okay, and this time I'm using the small little palette knife. So here we go. We don't need very much. Okay, so I'm just going to put that maybe a little bit more in my little pot. Put the lid back on. I still have more. I thought this would be the last of it, but... It, it does keep going like the Energizer Bunny. You know what? I'm going to close my ink pad for just a minute. How are you guys doing today? I always like asking. I'm Canadian. Canadians love to know what the weather is. So here in Canada, I mean in the Netherlands, see sometimes I even forget where I am. Um, I'm pre-recording this because tomorrow is a team day. I'm going with my Dutch team and we're going to, uh, we're meeting in a middle point. So I'm driving about an hour and we're going to this really cool restaurant and we're going to make some things too. We're going to make a really cute little scrapbook and we're going to make a cute little... Um, little gift treat bag and we're just gonna have a lot of fun together so that means I had to pre-record my video for tomorrow so anyway I'm gonna put a few drops of pool party ink in here I want it to stay kind of light so just two drops and then put the lid back on and then we just stir it up with the palette knife now I used regular plain white cardstock but I think you could also use a heavy duty it might be a little stronger I wanted to use the thinner white cardstock because I want to bend my butterfly a little bit so and it doesn't matter if you haven't mixed it all the way because then you'll get a bit of an ombre look so I'm just gonna kind of 
move it to the one side. And then we're going to take the mask again. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. We don't need that. So this is gonna lay right on top. And I don't wanna see any white. If I don't see any white, then we're good. Okay, now we're going to take a little bit of this and just spread it over. Doesn't have to be too thick. But I don't want to see any pretty peacock anymore. Okay. Okay. And then a little bit for the other side. There we go. And then the important thing is when you use embossing paste is that when you're finished, and I see that I'm half off, you need to um, clean your palette knife right away and clean your container so that you don't, um, it, it will dry hard. You don't wanna, that's gonna be a mess. I'm just gonna go like that a little bit. And you wanna leave your palette knife fairly flush with your, there. I think I've covered everything. Oh, I missed a few there, so that's good. Okay, so now we're ready for the big reveal. I'm just moving that out of the way. And there, how cool is that? Now I am going to pause my video and I'm going to wash this off and then I'll be right back. Okay, things are cleaned. Now we're just going to take off these masks. So this is the third time I've used these masks. So they are quite handy. They do curl up a little bit. Don't let that worry you. There, I, I did a little bit. My, my, my butterfly has a little bit of a straight edge there instead of a curve. So he's a little bit of a mutant. And I guess I didn't have to worry about it since I'm cutting them out anyway, but I guess I just wanted to show you the, the masking paper. So look how pretty that is. You get some texture on your butterfly. And then this takes about, I would say, two hours to dry. So I did one ahead of time, and it's all ready to go. And I cut it out. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's so lovely. So it's super easy to add a couple of drops of reinker to um, dye your embossing paste. So let's make the card now. I'm going to start with a piece. Oh, I see that I have a little bit of ink here. Um, this is four inches by five and a quarter and I'm just going to grab some grid paper here and then oh I, I wasn't sure I think I want to use pool party and not pretty peacock for the background and then what we're going to do I'm just going to put that here is we're going to use the sending sunshine and good feelings your way so there we go and we're going to put that on a block so and then we're going to stamp that. So one. Two. And now I'm jet, jet, um, staggering it so that it's not exactly the same all the way across. And now I have background paper. So how cool is that? So the next thing we're going to do is I have some ribbon. I thought it would be nice to add some more texture into my card. So this is a pool party ribbon. This is a Lost Lagoon. So it's shades of the same color. So what I'm going to do, I don't want a bow. I'm just going to cut some lengths of ribbon like so. And then before I decide exactly where to put them, let's have a look. There and then oh, I could even leave them just hanging off the edge instead of tucking them under. Hmm. Wow. Okay. I like that. So what I'm going to do is with ribbon, you do not want to use liquid adhesive. So reaching behind me for my tear and tape. And I like the idea of the ribbon not tucking around. Originally, I was thinking to tuck the ribbon around. But now I'm thinking, no, I don't want to do that. So I'm putting a piece of tear and tape like so. And then if you use your pick-me-up tool, that works better than your nails to get that strip off there. So now I can put this one down first. Like so and that'll be my guide to put 
put the there. And the nicest thing about Stampin' Up! is that everything coordinates. The ribbon, the ink, the cardstock, it makes it so nice. And then when you have a few drops of reinker to tint your um, embossing paste, you just you just nail it with the the um, coordination. So there. And now we have our butterfly. But first, we're going to put this on the white card base. And my white card base is missing right now, so I'm going to find that. Okay, so we're going to take this butterfly, move it aside. Doesn't that look nice, those colors? And look at the textures there. It's just beautiful. The links for everything that I use are in the description underneath my video. So you can shop with me in Europe or in Canada. So that's pretty exciting for me, hopefully for you too. It's always nice to support the people that you follow on uh, social media. I like that. Okay. Oh, upside down. Don't do it upside down. You want your letters going the right way. So I'm just going to slide this into position. And then we'll trim our, our ribbons in a minute. I'm going to just put some little pieces, oh, not the ribbon scissors, regular scissors, on either side of the ribbon. If it sits on the ribbon, it doesn't, well, I think I might have to do it. I have to do it this way. So just across the middle, and then hopefully it will stay. Let's see. And that's it. This is all you need for some happy mail. I find that when you use a special technique, you should keep your cards simple like that. And then I'm just going to trim off the ribbon. And the textures and the colors just make this card beautiful. That's it. Super simple. Sending good feelings your way. How much better, you know, just to get a card for no reason at all. I hope you love it. I really like making this card. My favorite cards are super simple um, with just a fun twist to them because they're super artistic. And yet, you know what? We're all busy people. Not everyone wants to spend three hours making a card and you certainly don't have to. All you need is a few tips and tricks. And that's my job as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator to help you find just the right things to make beautiful things easily, quickly. And uh, that brings you joy. Have a super day. Bye.